115 shards being pulled on my main account this account is over two years old and i do have a lot of legendary champions let's quickly go to my roster so we know what we are not supposed to get i'm trying to avoid duplicates by every means possible i know out of these shards that we're about to pull i must drop a legendary so here it is here is the roster so we are hoping not to get any duplicates of these ones even a priskyma dupe i don't even want it so some of the champions i'm looking forward to maybe a draco morph maybe a foley you know those nukas those ones that can really push my account further because i know these are not like an extensive number of legendaries to have on an account on the vault i do have a lot of duplicates sitting there so that's vegomka um which duplicates am i not looking forward to maybe a xavier duplicate no okay these are the legendaries that i don't have not built so far i have duplicates of molly so i'm not looking for dupes basically so as long as i don't i don't get a dupe i don't mind it as long as it's a new champion let's head over i've made enough space so there'll be no pause and break in this video i did not want to pull my shards when lissandra um two, 10x event was going on because i already had a lissandra on the account so let's go ahead hopefully you guys got all you needed i've just been sitting by friday and saturday watching everybody pull their shards and i've been waiting patiently for sunday when the 10x Lithandra ends so i can finally pull mine in terms of epics i don't think there is any epic champion that i do not have or do what i'm looking forward to i still don't have a miscreated monster on this account i have all the hp bonus vildrax is already on this account he's the hex champion right that was fused i think so that's not a new one for me either so i'll not be wasting much time to even look at their skills except it's a legendary champion that i don't have already a karam creep which that's all dupe and my faction guardians for almost every faction is full so most of these epics are duplicates or triple so they are not quite useful also husk i pulled him last time karam it's a trash champion Can I at least get one or two legendaries already? Jarang, Sinesha, I do have already. I wanted to get excited, but I do have a Sinesha already. Old Hermit Org 2, I do have this champion. Sinesha is awesome for um, AoE Nuka in the arena. That's where I see her being used a lot. So I still don't have a Blender team, so I'm looking forward to building my first Sinesha to use with Long Beard, but I still don't have it. Um, skull crown to make that combo work where is my legendary champion this is not looking good so far how many have we pulled we are not even half here yet i've done up to 40 pulls so far all right here we go again if i don't get something this time i'll switch over to <laughs> pull five singles and then switch back to 10 pulls see if that changes our luck mistress of hymns trash champion but I'm having getting a lot of epics too. Let's do five and see five single pulls and see if that changes anything about these shard pulls. Don't tell me I waited this long just to not get a legendary champion. Nothing. Diabolist. Is this it? Oh, that, was, that lag made it seem like something that was about to happen, but it was just an epic cage breaker. Have I pulled five yet? One more. Nah. Alright, back to the ten pulls and see. If we still don't get anything, the last ten will be <laughs> single pulls. I can't, we have 60 more to go. Let's continue the short pulls. This is this shot was totally from free to play, so they are not bought shots or anything, they are totally on my account. Free to play shots, let's see. Bushy, all right, still no luck being taxed and taxed. If I do not pull any legendaries, I don't think there will be any point in me posting this video on YouTube. But let's see. 
I don't know how close I am to pity, but so far it looks like I'm not that close. That's my second rector drag. That's a champion I don't mind having duplicates of that I'll actually use maybe sometime. Broodlord, I used him for the fusion. I don't have a copy, so now maybe I do have one copy of him. But it's not a champion that is totally necessary, I guess. Where is my legendary champion? Come on. 20 more. So, <laughs> this is sad. This is quite sad. I'm going to do 10 more pulls and do 10 single ones. 115 ancient shards, no legendary champion. How is this even possible? Is the 10x on? I mean, is the 2x on? It is. 1% chance of getting a legendary champion. Let's do single pulls now for the last 10 shots to see if that changes anything. Elda. Yes! Whoa! Gumaran. Finally! I was about to say, how is that even possible? 110 shots or 115 shots, no legendary champion. Shadow King Faction, A1. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 30% chance of placing block active skills. It can be booked up to 50% chance of placing it. That's a nice A1 right there. Take somebody out of the battle or make them use their A1s all through. It lands, it's for one turn though. On the A2, attacks all enemies. 80% chance of stealing one random buff from each enemy. That's a lot of steal. So if there are enemies that have buffed themselves, he might steal all their debuffs. I mean, their buffs on them. 1-1-1, one, 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 since it's random. After stealing, applies a buff spread effect, taking a random buff from this champion and placing it on all allies. On the same skill, 3 turn cooldown. That's quite awesome. So, but it only spreads one though. He steals a lot of buffs from them, but it only spreads one to us. A random buff from this champion and yeah. so just one is all right i'm not yet impressed though this a1 and a2 is not yet that legendary yet i guess on the a3 attacks all enemies no that's a3 if the target is dead places block revive on them can target dead or living oh can target dead or living enemies is that a passive no that's an active skill if the target is dead, places block revive on them. That's a weird one. Then attacks all enemies. Each enemy will receive damage equal to 20% of the target's enemy's max HP. I don't understand. He, he can target dead ones too, right? But if they are dead, he places block revive, then attacks all enemies. Each enemy will receive damage equal to 20% of the target enemy max HP. So it's like hitting one but hitting everybody else at the same time with 20% max of the other person's max HP. So he won't do full damage to the other enemies that is actually attacking with this 20% max HP. Except it's a boss. So if you target the boss with this skill, 20% of his max HP will <laughs> totally nook his um, side, side um, ads or something. Well, there's a condition for boss. If the target is a boss minion, the damage is equal to 20% of this champion's max HP. Oh, so there's a condition there. This attack cannot be critical and we ignore any shield buff and 100% of each target's defense. It cannot be critical. It totally ignores defense. It totally ignores shield. That's a huge one. That's a lot of stuff right to read. I'm still reading because I'm not yet impressed. If the target is alive, places a true fear debuff on them for two turns and heals all allies by 20% of the target's enemy's max HP. Alright, so I see what's happening now. He can target both living and dead. So if he targets the dead, all this will happen. If he targets the living, all this will happen. So that's just the whole explanation. So I'll always target living allies. I don't need... I mean, living um, enemies. 
because this one doesn't seem that interesting except you really really want to block that revive and i already have a lydia doing that block revive so i might not need this so truth here for two turns on that target if the target is a boss or boss minion the heal is equal to 10 percent of this champion's max hp his damage is based on hp the true fear debuff cannot be resisted so since this skill cannot crit or the only targeting dead enemies is when it cannot crit over here it doesn't really say whether it cannot crit or not on a three turn on four turn cooldown i'm not impressed i'm still not impressed by it i'm still not impressed by it let's see the aura revives a random ally with 30 percent hp and 30 percent turn meter each time an enemy is killed one turn cooldown i guess the only place i'm going to actually use this champion is in um what do you call it faction wars because i've not yet completed the shadow king faction he will go with ninja and pair well and do damage i guess and be kind of a support that revives and all that so that's where i'm gonna use him so far i don't see his special abilities yet i'm not that impressed by his um unless he hits really hard i'll check out some youtube videos and see what other content creators are saying about him and see some tests that people have done with him or which ideal builds is also good for him before i'll decide whether he belongs in the vault or he belongs in only faction wars or there's somewhere else he can be useful let me know in the comments below where you think gamuran can show a lot of um, skill for in this game all right eight more ancient shards and let's end it i'm glad i finally got one lego that was not a dupe at least so it was getting really really dicey for a moment i thought this video would have gone on without me putting the legendary but hey we came in clutch almost at the end and no i do not expect to pull a second lego I, i'm not that lucky i'm just not that lucky i'm just lucky not to have pulled a duplicate champion so that's i'll accept that one four more, four more ancients to go not gonna happen not even an epic to end it because there's a champion chase going on and i don't mind pulling some points over there and before i end it i'll see if we did get to the maximum reward for the champion chase and the last ancient shard we are done all right that's my shard pool let's see how well i did in the champion chase tournament Come on. Yes, I did manage to secure the maximum reward for the champion chase, but I was nowhere near the top guys. 5,972 points over there. Not even top 10. <laughs> so I'm glad I was able to get these books. Five star chicken for the champion training, special champion training event that is coming up tomorrow. And I'll claim this one at once or I should have waited for tomorrow anyways I'll claim the I'll claim the last one later let me use this and level up some more, more food that is gonna be used tomorrow for the event all right hit that like button if you enjoyed this video it wasn't that exciting because they starved us of the legendary until the last moment I guess that was the whole point and I'll see you guys in the next rich shadow legends video good night <laughs>